on on Friday, what's the attitude of the majority of people? They hype, right? Why? So they attitude go way up there, right? What happened on Sunday night? Uh, <laughs> oh, I gotta go back to work. What happened on Wednesday? Oh, it's hump day, right? Hump day. Attitude go back up. What happens when you talk about this dream, this vision that you have inside of you, and you go share it with a family member, and they say, ah, you can't do that. That's too hard for you. What happened to your attitude then? If you listen to it, go back down, don't you? So listen to my point. The average person out here, they live this life of this roller coaster every single day of their life. They attitude up one day, down next day, up one day, down the next day. The only way you can accomplish this, reach the goals that you want to reach, you have to learn right now to keep your attitude at a constant no matter what happens around you. How can I do that, coach? What are you talking about keep my attitude? You don't know what's going on in my family life. You don't know what's going on with, 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 with my sister or my brother. You don't know what's happening at school. My mama is struggling right now. I got families that's on this and doing this, and you don't know my atmosphere. You don't know the people I'm around. I know. But see, this is where the catch comes in. Your faith is in God. Your faith is in Christ. That means that now I must be able to ignore my senses. I have to be able to ignore what I see, ignore how I feel, ignore what I hear, and regardless of everything around me looks like hell, I must believe that the God that I serve is bigger than any circumstance or situation in my life. You may not see how you're going to get there. Walking on faith, baby, this thing ain't easy. Walking by faith is not easy. You mean to tell me I'm supposed to believe God as I'm traveling this journey and everything around me and when I look up, I don't see anything? I'm working and I don't see how it's going to turn out. But I, yes. Yes. Because what you're not understanding is you going after this future. You going after this goal. The Lord may shift you over here. And as you get over here, you're in the midst of a storm. You're in the, mid the middle of tragedy. But it's the tragedy that he's using to make you stronger, to make you wiser, to make you understand that it's him and it's not you. It's things that's going to go on in your life as you travel through the storm. You better believe that God is half his, he got your back. You in his hands, he's with you. You may not feel it, you may not understand it, but you have to know that the God that I serve has promised me. God said, if you accept me into your life, I will never leave you nor will I forsake you. I will never leave you, nor will I forsake you. I looked it up. What does forsake mean? I never fail you. I never turn my back on you.